Hi, my name is Jamie Gosney, and this is my Excel VBA project for ABE 205. Um, I made a calorie tracker that also projects weight loss or weight gain based on the caloric intake that you um, take um, that you consume daily, and it also recommends a type of exercise um, based on the weather for that day. So let's get started. Um, this is the user interface, and it is here that we are going to input input our data. Our starting weight is 135 pounds. Our caloric goal for consumption every day is 2,000 calories. Our goal weight is 125 pounds. The goal time, um, the amount of time in which we would like to accomplish this goal is 10 weeks. And the height that we are is 68 inches. Once all this data is input, we can see that there are formulas in or functions in cells D6 and D7 that calculate BMI based on weight and height for both current, which you will start at, and goal, which you would like to be. Um, moving over to here, we can see these buttons all here that um, when we click them, do I need to gain or lose weight? We can see that a message pops, box pops up that says that we are at a healthy weight right now, um, which is great. But this is um, based on your current BMI, and if your current BMI is within the healthy range, then this um, phrase will pop up. But if you are not within the healthy BMI range, then a different phrase will pop up, either saying you need to lose or gain weight. So let's put this back to where it was. Um, we can also click this button whether or not your goal weight is healthy. And our goal weight is healthy because um, our goal BMI in cell D7 is within the healthy BMI range. Now if we desire to lose more weight than is healthy for our height um, to have a really low BMI, then our message box would pop up telling us that our weight is not healthy. Is our goal weight realistic? And according to this, our goal weight is realistic, and this is based on the difference between your starting weight and your goal weight, and if the difference is less than 75 pounds, then it is realistic. Um, now we can go and click on what type of exercise should I do today. And when we click this, this inputs web data from the National Weather Service for Tucson. And based on the high temperature for the day, it will give us a suggestion of what type of exercise we should do. And because the high was so low today, um, and it was really cold, this um, suggests that we do yoga indoors instead of venturing outdoors. Um, now we can go over here and input our daily caloric data, and this pops up with a form um, in which we can change the date based on combo boxes and calories consumed through a text box. If we push cancel, it closes this form, and we can input more caloric data. Save also closes the form. for various days and then when we come over here we can see what our projected weight will be based on how many calories we have consumed and how much under our caloric, caloric goal that we are um, so if we click on our projected weight then we can see that it is subtracting um, based on a formula, how many pounds we have lost every day based on the difference between our um, caloric goal and the number of calories that we have consumed. And once we have reached our goal weight, a message box pops up um, congratulating us. And this, all of this data in these columns is um, transferred over to the data sheet, as you can see, these are written to equal the cells in sheet 2. 
and arrays are used to input the data into these columns here and then to transfer from column U to rows here based on days. So um, we can see that from this data right here we have made a graph. We can click to show the graph and this graph shows us where our projected weight is for each week and each day. We can also hide the graph to make it go away. And that is my Excel VBA project.